Have you ever felt anxious about something and decided to avoid it? Did you know that avoiding it can actually make your anxiety worse? This is known as an avoidance anxiety cycle, a pattern many of us fall into. This cycle can hold us back, so today we'll explore what it is, why it happens, and how we can break free from it. So what exactly is the avoidance anxiety cycle? It's a pattern where we avoid situations that make us anxious. Even just thinking about it can trigger anxiety in your body. You might feel your heart rate increase, your muscles tense up, and your adrenaline pumping all from the thought alone. Naturally, you don't like this feeling, and it's easy to blame it on the event itself. As we're feeling this anxiety, what do we do? We avoid the event. Seems logical, right? We avoid the event, our anxiety is relieved, and we feel relaxed. Our brain reinforces this avoidance behavior by saying, we avoided the event that scared and caused us anxiety. Now we're fine. Let's keep doing that. While this avoidance can bring temporary relief, it often leads to increased anxiety over time. This cycle can trap us, limiting our experiences and growth. Whenever we avoid something, we reinforce the belief that the situation is too scary or overwhelming to handle. This can lead to avoiding more situations and, in extreme cases, can even escalate to conditions like agoraphobia, where a person becomes afraid to leave their home. Our brains are wired to protect us from perceived threats, and anxiety is a natural response to fear. When we avoid the situations that trigger our anxiety, our brains think, great, that worked, let's do it again next time. Unfortunately, this reinforces the fear and makes it harder to face the situation in the future. The impact of this cycle can affect our relationships, career opportunities, and overall well-being. Avoiding anxiety-inducing situations might seem like a good short-term solution, but it often leads to missed opportunities and a reduced quality of life. So now let's talk about breaking this cycle. To break this cycle, we need to increase our tolerance for feeling anxious. This means learning to sit with the discomfort without avoiding it. I know this isn't easy, and for some, a traumatic event may have started this pattern of avoidance. However, there are ways to retrain your brain using CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy to reduce your anxiety over time. One effective method is cognitive restructuring, which involves identifying and challenging negative or irrational thoughts that contribute to anxiety. First, identify the negative thoughts. Pay attention to the thoughts that trigger anxiety. For example, if I go to the party, everyone will think I'm awkward. Challenge these thoughts. Evaluate the evidence for and against these thoughts. Ask yourself, is this thought based on facts or assumptions? Then reframe the thought. Replace negative thoughts with a more balanced and realistic one, such as, it's okay to feel a little nervous, and people are usually focused on themselves, not judging me. Another effective method is exposure therapy. This involves gradually exposing yourself to the thing you fear in a controlled way, helping your brain learn that the situation isn't as dangerous as it seems. Create a list of situations, objects, or thoughts that trigger anxiety range from least to most anxiety-provoking. For example, someone with social anxiety might make a list making eye contact with a stranger at the lower end of the hierarchy and giving a speech to a larger audience at the top. This serves as a roadmap for the exposure exercise, ensuring you don't become overwhelmed and can progress at a manageable pace. Start small with the most minor anxiety-inducing situation and gradually work your way up. Spend time in each situation until your anxiety decreases, then move to the next level. This helps desensitize your response to anxiety triggers. In conclusion, this video fundamentally explains CBT for avoidance anxiety. Avoidance anxiety can be challenging, but it's not unbeatable. You can break free by understanding the cycle, challenging your fears, and taking proactive steps. It's okay to feel anxious, but don't let it control your life. Thank you all for being here today and for your courage in facing your challenges. Stay positive, friends.